tell us about your creative project too. Okie dokie. Um, so the introduction to the brief, um, first things first, looking at the brief and what the uh, task was. Um, I was looking at the uh, learning objectives, um, what the markers are looking for in our body of work and the requirements for the module. Um, looking that the project is more about sort of maybe the experimentation sort of the final project and sort of trying to delve into that more than the final, final product. Um, focusing on what we want to do, why, and uh, what genre is something else to look into, um, and looking at how I'll achieve this and what I'll do differently this time. So perhaps looking at my previous personal development plans and in my previous evaluations, what I said I'll work on and making sure that I can hopefully match that. Um, and basically, you know, to um, conclude all this is an understanding of what we're being asked to complete. Um, so my initial ideas, the introduction, um, going through different scripts and ideas on why I want to do these. So I just looked back at scripts and ideas I've had over the last couple of months, some couple of years. Um, but I do know what I was fixed on is that first thing I wanted to create a short film. Um, I'm fixed on this idea, this is not what I want to do, but um, this is more much more experimentation left. Oh, that makes no sense. What well, this is what I want to do. But there is much more experimentation left within. Yeah, that's what I mean. So um, I've done documentaries. I've done profile films. I've said a lot of that. But I'm kind of fixed on short films. But there's still a lot more that I can um, sort of delve into and research with um, within genre, for example. Um, and such as script writing, cinematography, story building, mise-en-scene, uh, sound design, and foley. Um, I want to show what accumulated skills and knowledge I've learned throughout the last two years and try and apply that to um, my product. Um, and again, um, to sort of reflect the brief is to create something memorable and distinctive. Um, so these are just some of the ideas. So uh, one of them is uh, an initial idea I had a few months ago called uh, Hallucinations, sort of a horror thriller, um, sort of psychological like The Sixth Sense. Um, sort of based on the difference between dreams and reality um, and how can that's, that can affect each other within the real world um, and how it can cross paths. Um, trying to bring that horror feeling to the screen through sort of visual sound, makeup and story. Um, I just thought it would be a really interesting thing to um, try and do to build up tensions, build up sort of that horror aspect. Um, and it's sort of inspired by sort of... Um, Inception, when it comes to trying to understand a story that Christopher Nolan has written. Uh, Coherence, which is a great low-budget film um, that had a huge impact and a very good story. Um, and Stranger Things, some of the dream sequences in that was a big inspiration. Uh, the Bullet Man um, was just another idea. An action superhero, I thought a remake of my first film um, I made as part of the course. It would be a positive way of looking at what I've learned over the few years and sort of applying that to a new take of an old idea. Um, but it's more of a comedy and a mimic of heroes, um, sort of inspired by a mix between Sh uh, Shazam and Deadpool. Uh, the Hindenburg Line, which is a war film drama, a, a script I came up with about a year ago. Um, but uh, it's based on true events, but it's sort of an added mission with a story based around, um, set in 1918 France, the end of World War I. Um, it's inspired by uh, 1917, All Quiet on the Western Front, and uh, Journey's End, and Journey's End was more or less about the Hindenburg Line. It was just set a few months before the Battle of the St. Quentin Canal, which is again when it's based around. Um, an untitled sci-fi film. This is another genre I wanted to look into um, because I haven't, I've sort of, I've done comedy. I've done an aspect of um, horror before and I've done action. And I thought sci-fi um, would be a really interesting way of sort of adapting that. And I wanted to play around with uh, time warps and the unknown of the universe, which is inspired by Interstellar, Dune, and Arrival, which are great films there. Um, ideas, final part. An untitled love film, romance drama, creating a story based around mental health and teenage love. So I want to research into real life tragedies that had aspects of love and mental health in. Um, or a comedy sketch, which was another idea I had a few months ago. Um, uh, it's simple yet effective, two Russian guards guarding a gate behind one of them. Um, one of them strict, well-behaved soldier, the other one's a bit of a drunken mess. Um, and so it's sort of um, the lines between the two that creates that comedy. And I just thought it'd be a really good new way of trying to learn a, a new genre. Um, what do I want to do? Why have I chosen this theme? I really want to delve more into uh, hallucinations, the script and idea, and research more horror and psychological films. 
as it's a genre I haven't been able to fully explore and experiment with. Um, the idea has potential. I feel more excitement for this script than any of the others. Um, horror's a great way of connecting with an audience, and that's what I always set out to do with all of the pictures I produce. Um, furthermore, it's another way of pushing my skills forward, but also learning new ones. Um, looking at the target audience, just briefly, very initial ideas. It will age between 15 and 16, mainly starting with 15, is that there'll most likely be distressing scenes, blood, gore, and probably a bit of um, swearing in as well. Um, the research I've taken, I've briefly studied some short films on YouTube that match my idea. Um, looking into camera techniques, makeup, sound composers, and budget. Um, my research consists of looking at the timeline we've been given, the budget I could potentially raise, uh, raise within the time frame, and the actors I have as contacts. Um, and all of this is vital to um, creating a production. Uh, following on from the above point, I don't want to be unrealistic, um, which is some stuff I've looked at in my personal development plan before. Um, I don't want to make an idea too complicated, which I will explain more in the next slide. Um, why I'm not as confident with other ideas. For example, the Hindenburg line, a great script which I'm very much looking forward to starting, but it will take months of planning, pre-production documents, uh, auditions, composers, and a huge budget for the scale of the film. So it's, I find it quite unrealistic given the time frame, but still a good idea. Um, I haven't done, uh, I have done a love story recently, sorry, um, and I'd love to change genres and start researching, to, uh, researching into the minds of Feelings, emotions, and atmospheres of films, I don't really want to do the same thing. How can I fulfill the brief to a high standard? I feel as though I have the time frame, the budget, and the idea to create a memorable and distinctive film, which is what I set out to achieve in my proposal. Over the last year, I've experimented with new equipment that I feel I'm now more confident um, with to a high and professional standard. My skills on editing softwares, um, soundtracks, and music creation, and getting in contact with industry professionals is also something that um, adds towards filling the brief at a high standard. But overall, I feel I have the curtain conventions of a professional filmmaker that I can use in creating this story, and this will ultimately help me finishing what I set out to complete in my proposal as well. Uh, lastly, just the constraints and challenges I may face. Uh, time management is also something that needs to be set at the very beginning, otherwise it could turn a professional production and idea into, into a disastrous project at the end. I need to look at filming conditions and uh, potential weather interference. Uh, budget might be a problem if I can't raise as much, which is why I need to create a contingency plan to have a backup. Um, I might find the idea, once uh, fleshed out into a script, might not be what I set out to create in the first place. So I need to make sure I keep referring to previous challenges I faced with my other productions so that I don't face them again. Overall thoughts on the brief idea. I'm extremely looking forward to starting this module, um, bringing to, to take this idea and develop it into a script and furthermore into a film. I think my idea, what I'm setting out to achieve in my proposal, matches the brief that's been set. My idea can also reach a high standard, taking into account the time management budget and tools I have. And finally, I'm looking forward to starting my pre-production on hallucinations, delving into the mystery surrounding lucid dreams, sleep paralysis, how the brain functions when sleeping, and then delving into that horror element. Any questions? Um, well, I know that it's got to be under 10 minutes, am I right? Um, I would like it to be as close to that as possible um, because I would really like to, I don't, I don't want to make it too short because there's, it's such a huge subject. I want to try and explore that as much as I can. So really as close as I can get up to 10 minutes. Um, I, I, I love the genre you've, you've chosen uh, and obviously the sub themes, sleep paralysis, morbid psychological thriller. Um, and some of the, Yeah. Them. So it's just honing them down to yeah. one, maybe two um, kind of minutes that you can focus core on that specific subject. Yeah. Um, and then in terms of um, classification, in terms of, I know you mentioned swearing, scenes, distressing scenes, what age rating would you put on this at the moment? And what, if you were to submit this to the BBFC, what would you be aiming for? I have researched this before of the classification. Um, at, at the moment, with just my initial idea and what I can envision, at uh, 15, but 
once it's actually done, obviously I do need to look at it again, I'm not just going to say now, but I just feel like um, with it being such, like you said, a heavy subject, I don't think there's any way of sort of uh, watering that down and having it PG. I, I think it, the whole point of that 15 is, yeah, to really express those themes. Well. Yes, yeah, but I, at the moment I'd, I'd say 15. It wouldn't, I don't think it would be any lower at all. Um, I think it would definitely be 15, but I don't know if it will go any higher. Yeah, I'd love to. I would really love to um, submit it to festivals. Um, and I really want to with this, as I did touch on briefly about um, connecting with audiences. I don't want this to be a film where people just sit there sort of quietly like they do with maybe any other film. Um, I, I do want it to, you know, if people walk out of that film, that's actually kind of a good sign. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want people to walk out, but I, I, don't, I, I do want this to affect people, which is also why I don't want to leave filming to the last minute. I want to have as many... Uh, test screenings and as much time for sound because that's going to play a huge aspect as, as I can. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um. So uh, I have got it in my proposal, I just haven't added it to this. There's um, a few uh, books I want to look at to do with um, creating, it's to do with a script writing book, screenplays, um, mainly by directors who have influenced my young career at the moment, um, because I don't want to use the same uh, codes that other people use when it comes to horrors, the old walking into a dark room when you hear a sound. I, I want to make something different. Um, and so I think book research and sort of maybe um, annotating the you know analysis of books uh, will be a great start. Um, loads of different questionnaires and surveys um, of that age, age range, um, talking of sort of horror and other people's dreams, how that might affect them, nightmares, you know. Um, so because I think the only way to create this will be trying to talk to other people and what they've experienced. So yes, yeah, surveys, questionnaires. Uh, a lot of the book reading. I'd love to do an interview with someone. I think that's a great way of doing it as well. Um, so yeah, they're the main ones. I think that's really important is understanding the, the generic codes and conventions of a horror, psychological yes. thriller, but also then putting your own twist on it. Because yeah. you are a creative individual at the end of the day, putting your own stamp on it. Uh, Ryan? Um, I was going to say what kind of equipment and software do you hope to use, such as like editing software? <laughs> Um, I will be using Premiere Pro um, because I've, that's the only way to go about this. You know, as a as a high professional standard, Premiere Pro is the only way to go forward. Um, so I'll be playing along uh, around with that a lot. Obviously, I've got my brand new Blackmagic um, 4K and the um, stabilizer as well. Um, and I've only used it with a, other sort of two productions maybe. So I can't wait. Now I've learnt that and learnt some of the techniques that I'll be fully confident going into this. So I can't wait, I really can't, to use that equipment and software. Are you 